Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a new resin printer from Creality, the 002R. As you know, I've done a few reviews on uh, resin printers in the past. Uh, I think the first was the Wenhao D7, but printing has come a long way since then as it's been a few years. So we'll go over some of the features of this printer. So the main specs to mention are that the 002R has a 2K screen. There's anti-aliasing built into the software, which does help crispen up those edges, as well as a build volume of 119 by 65 by 160 millimeters. The uh, Z axis runs on ball linear rails, and there's also a built-in active carbon filter system. Now, the carbon filtration does seem to keep the smells down in the office, but the only thing I'm not sure of, which it may well be in the instructions I haven't particularly looked is how to replace the carbon in those filters uh, when they when they fill up when they absorb everything they're going to uh, I'm hoping there's going to be some aftermarket parts so you can swap this out it's also worth uh, mentioning that apart from the the uh, UV plastic cover that houses the printer all of the body is actually CNC aluminium or aluminum the software that ships with the printer is called oh this will be a good one Shitu box, shit, shit, chit, chitchy box or shit your box, and seems to work really well. Um, some of the built in features of that software, uh, you pretty much had to be a bit of a mesh mixer wizard to be able to achieve, but they've built in the main ones into the software, which is really handy. Now, some of these are um, a built in button, so you can just click it and it will hollow out your models, which will save a lot on resin as well as the ability to put in manual supports, automatic supports, and even pop in a few drainage holes on the model. Now this, this technique is actually really handy for uh, where, the, uh, where the model attaches to the build plate. If you pop a few holes there, it can reduce suction forces, which stop that print coming off the plate. So it's handy to pop in a few. Um, models are then exported out of the software just straight onto a USB stick, which I much prefer because SD cards, I, I just don't like them. I mean, USB memory stick, everyone has them. It's just much easier. And then you just pop them in the side of the printer on its USB port. Now controlling the printer is quite easy and it's done via the color touchscreen. As you can see from the models that I've printed for this video, the printer is a very capable unit. Details are crisp and on the, the best setting, which is 0.01, I believe, the lines are hardly visible. So it's, it's about as near a print as you're going to get to injection molded quality. Now, one thing to keep in mind is resin printers may provide the best prints on the market currently, print quality, but that comes with a few drawbacks. Um, working with resin is a smelly and messy process. You require some resin wash, which can be as simple as isopropyl alcohol, which you can't buy thanks to COVID. Or you can buy some commercial products like I've been using called Resin Away. And this one's made by Monocure. Uh, there'll be links in the description if you want to pick up some of that. So once the model comes out of the uh, out of the vat, you need to pop it into a into a wash to remove any of that excess resin. Uh, after that step, you, you're going to need an air compressor or compressed air in a can just to blow off any excess. And then you pop it in the sun to finish curing. Now, it does sound like a hassle, but you do get used to it and you just need to think, well, if you need that kind of quality in the final product, is it worth it for you? And I don't know, with a bit of trial and error, you get used to it, so it's okay. The other thing to remember is these printers are only about 250 American bucks, which is pretty, it's a pretty bit of a steal. There's not really that many moving parts to break, which is good. Um, this one has been working as advertised since the day I've plugged it in. So I'm, I'm really happy with the printer. It, it seems to work as advertised, so can't complain. Uh, this printer was provided by Banggood for review, so thanks to them. There'll be a link to purchase it in the description if, if you're interested. That's all we got for this quick review, so hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.
see you next time.